Hey my love bugs, I am back with another video. This video is going to be, um, I guess kind of like a horror story, a vent session, slash product review. Um, so, if you guys aren't subscribed, hit that little subscribe button now. If you guys are new, welcome to my channel. I am Shansi or Miss Boom Boom Room, whichever you want to call me, honey. Um, so, this video today is about a Instagram nail company, a press-on nail company. Um, one of my girlfriends put me onto this company recently. They do like amazing press on nails with like all the bedazzledness and all the cuteness you can think of, honey, where you're going to look good. So, me being me, I was like, let me try this company out because my birthday is coming up. Now, this was, mind you, in June when I decided to order me some press on nails from this specific company. And the name of the company is doobie nails um doobie nails is is really really popular on instagram and let me just check their instagram account so you guys can get familiar with them um they have 337k followers on their instagram everything is really nice and pretty and neat and it just looks fabulous when you look on their Instagram. It makes you just want to spend money. Make it rain. So that's what I did because my birthday was coming up. And I was like, you know what? I want to look good on my birthday. And I really didn't want to go to the nail shop because I'm really not I'm like pro nail shop right now. So <clears throat> I looked on their website. Ordered some really cute press on nails with like the jewels on it nice like nude tone and I actually have the nails on right now and I will get a close-up now um, when I ordered these nails I don't even remember so long ago when I ordered them I ordered them on June 22nd and I paid $37 for the medium sized coffin cut nails. I didn't know what the hell no coffin cut nails was. I just chose them because I thought they would be cute. Whatever. And I didn't know the size of my hands. I thought they would be medium because I know my fingers are not like small. They're like average size. So I selected medium for the size of the nails. Okay. So, um, after three weeks had gone by and I still had not heard from Doobie Nails after I purchased these nails, I decided to go on their website and see how to contact them because it's been three weeks. I still haven't gotten my nails. And my birthday was in August and I ordered these at the end of, well, mid June so to the 22nd of June so I'm like okay I checked the website Q&A and it says it takes them about 20 days to make the actual order you know from scratch because they have to add the jewels on there and shape them and all of that stuff so it can take about 20 days and mind you they have 337k followers so I'm like okay I'm not gonna you know sweat it my birthday is in another month and a half so I'll just wait maybe they'll come the following week or the week after that you know what I'm saying so and then they were saying oh it takes like five to seven days to ship from the UK to the United States so I'm like okay I'll give them a little time so another two three weeks went by now mind you we're in a month and a half now nothing so I reach out to them and I'm like, I hit them on Instagram and the messages and, or the DMs, I slid in their DMs. So I'm like, 
hey, I placed the order. I can't find my confirmation email. I'm like, but I do have a, you know, number from my purchase on my credit card statement. And I was wondering when I'm going to receive the nails and blah, blah. And then they referred me to the website. And they were like, oh, contact the website and send an email to customer service and blah, blah, blah. So I did that. I didn't hear back from customer service for about three or four days. And when they did contact me back, they were like, oh, um, what's your order number? And I'm like, I clearly stated that I didn't have the order number anymore. I just had like whatever was for my bank statement. And, you know, I gave them my name and my information and told them the date that I purchased and blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. So then... The lady hits me with the, um, oh, we shipped that order out already. And I'm like, okay. And then in the same email, she says, oh, we didn't have um, a country for the address. So we didn't know if we should send it to the U.S. or the U.K. And we couldn't figure that out. So I'm thinking to myself, like, how did you not have the country and couldn't figure out where to send it, but you already sent it? That makes no sense. And then the lady was like, oh, uh, verify your address again. So I verify my address. And so I told her, I said, well, I'm in the U.S. I said, well, this is my address. This was the order that I made, blah, blah, blah. And so the lady was like, oh, well, I don't know. I don't even remember what she said. But at the end of the day, I asked her in the email. I said, how can we resolve this? Because I ordered this almost two months ago for my birthday. I said, my birthday is in two weeks now. I'm like, so how can we resolve this? What's, what's, what's going on? And I didn't hear back from her for about a week. So at this point, I'm pissed. So I just emailed her back and I was like, you know what? I honestly just want a refund. I said, I ordered these for my birthday. My birthday is next week now. There's no real reason for me to wait around for you to ship this to me another week or another two weeks or however long it's going to take. I just want a refund. So three days later, she messages me back. Oh, what's the address again? So we can uh, try to send out the order again. First of all, how can you say send out the order again if you never sent it out the first time? Because you didn't have my country, as you said. Um, but anyway, long story short, I contacted my bank and I just straight told them like, you know what? I just want my money back. Dispute this. Get my money back. They're not communicating properly. They're not trying to take care of what needs to be taken care of. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so my bank took care of it. I have Navy Federal Credit Union and they took care of that. Big ups to y'all. Thank you so much, Navy Federal Credit Union. Y'all always be looking out for your girl. And... So they gave me my money back through the dispute. And so I get a letter from Navy Federal probably like a week later saying that everything was resolved. The credit that they gave me will stay, you know, as it is and blah, blah, blah. Cool. Everything's cool. So the next day after I get that letter from Navy Federal, I get a package in the mail. And guess who it's from? Doobie Nails. Doobie Nails, thank you so much for your order. And so I'm like looking like what the hell is what the hell is really going on? So anyway, long story short, they ended up sending me the order anyway. And it comes in this little case here. It has a little sticky strip right across the box. And that's where you lay your nails when you take them off. You just lay them on there so they don't move. Which I think is pretty cool. Um, the problem with the nails. And the ones with the studs on them are not the same shape or size as all the others. I ordered medium nails and it looks like they sent me like small or something. The pinky nails are way too small. Like they don't even fit. I had to literally like squeeze them down so that they would stick on. But they're still way too small for my pinky nails. And the ones with the rhinestones, as you can see, they aren't even pointed at the top. Like, they're not even as long as all the rest of the nails. 
and then this thumbnail is just all the way jacked like the shape and they put little bowls which I thought was cute on the bigger nails which is the thumbnails but there's a shit ton of glue underneath like to the point where it just looked like they just slapped a bunch of glue in there and just put it on there like rushing um, I've only had these nails on for about four hours now and I've already lost two rhinestones and honestly this does not look how it looked as advertised I was really like looking at the nails when I got them and I was just kind of like is this really what I ordered this is not cute this is not pretty this color I mean this color is cute but I was just feeling like I don't think this is what I ordered I don't think I ordered this you know what I'm saying so I'm kind of disappointed in Doobie Nails because they have such great quality work on their Instagram page and everybody's always talking about them and you know has such great experiences and my experience with them was just a shit show um, these nails are not $37 worth of nail I'm sorry I'm just gonna be honest I could have put these rhinestones the way they got them on here they not in no real type of design and as you can see this this nail it doesn't even fit my nail at all so I know I ordered medium to me I feel like they sent me small or they just kind of rushed to sent something out because I was messaging them so much um so I don't know my experience with doobie nails was not a good one and I more than likely will not be ordering from them ever again in life um, I thought that I would have had a great experience with them um, and I was wanting to order other nails but yeah it just didn't work out that way so yeah more than likely I will not be ordering from them again um, after a month and a half of me not hearing from them and not receiving my order I did decide to order from another company that I saw on Instagram that I actually liked a lot too um, and this was the the nail list custom nail bar and honestly I ordered from them and like maybe two weeks later I got my package and I did order these really pretty um, I think they were called like Egyptian something I think they were called Egyptian Queen or something like that but they were really pretty nails um, some of the rhinestones did come off of them because I was wearing them for a long period of time and I think I wore them to work one night and yeah you know I work at Coyote Ugly and that's just not a great look for press on nails <laughs> so yeah um, I'm going to show you guys these nails I wore these actually for my birthday and they turned out really pretty and everybody that I showed them to they were just like oh my god I love your nails they're so gorgeous and they thought I went to the shop and got them done but little do they know <laughs> the nail has got my back baby so let me um I'm just putting them on this little strip so there's also a little strip in here in this box to kind of like keep the nails all together and in order and stuff like that okay so that's what these look like and I really like these a lot I like the decorous the decorations, the little rhinestones and everything that were on there. Everything worked out really well. The shape of the nails were like at, to the T. All of them were like the same shape and height. And then um I didn't see like any like rush job type of thing with the nails. Uh, so yeah, everything looked as advertised on their website. I was super excited when I got them. I was hella impressed when I wore them and like I said I got so many compliments when I wore them for my birthday everybody was like all on your girl you know like where you get them from you went to the nail shop where did you go and I was like no baby I got these from the nail the nail list 
the nail list. <laughs> but yeah, they had really good customer service. They took my order, sent me an email, got my shit out to me. I was super happy and I will be shopping with them again. And if you guys um, want the link, I will definitely leave it in the description bar below so you guys can shop with the nail list because I've had such a great shopping experience with them and I know you guys will too. So I will definitely leave that link below. And um, yeah, that's gonna kind of wrap up this video. I do thank you guys for chilling with me today. I know it's been a while since I've been on here and kind of got my new little room set up. So I will be trying to film a lot more for you guys because I do miss you so much to the point where I'm just, I've been like in a really, I'm, I'm not gonna say depressed state, but I've been in a unmotivated state lately where I've been just kind of like, I want to do this video, but I don't have the push to actually like do it. So pray for me. <laughs> and I'm going to definitely um, try to pump out some more videos for you guys because my channel has been high and dry, honey. But if you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure you should follow me on Instagram. That's where I am the most. And on Facebook. And um, I will see you guys next time on my next video. I love you all. Bye.